Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about open games that today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and went to court and began cross-examining Wendy Oldbag, who's... Yeah, she's not the greatest character. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into her second testimony, the man in the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Sorry if the voices kind of sound off, because long story short, the previous uh, Case 3 episodes that you guys have seen were recorded directly after I finished off case two and I just put off editing them for like two months. But yeah, now I'm back into this and I hope I do the voices correctly. <clears throat> hmm. So he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Cross-examination. One thing I've kind of noticed whenever I'm editing my videos is that whenever I voice Phoenix or Maya, I'm kind of a bit quiet, so I'll try to talk a bit louder uh, when, I'm, when I'm voicing those two. So, first statement. Um, Whippersnapper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet. I'll have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone, anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow. The up and up. Used today, always running about each other, putting fingers in this way and that and all. Mr. Wright, please, for our sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Pop- Whoa. Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see, there was Powers, he's the Steel Samurai. The poor old hammer, the evil magistrate. And me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. I saw power strip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped to make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Uh, let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant, then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may, con you may continue your testimony. You broke one of the props. It was a big mess. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. Samurai spear? A murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. It strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Samurai spear updated in the court record. Apparently, it sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Powers' ankles badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where was the Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. <clears throat> Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The, f the witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. 
Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. With, will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Witness's account continued. The time of Warhammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studios before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have, have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. First statement, the time of Warhammer's death was 2.30 p.m. How do you know that? Eh, didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective, and then, after some rubbish about being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody's suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking. Right. No one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one o'clock? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention... If they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy. Old windbag sure has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. Old windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? So, the solution to this one is we want to go over to... If they had, I would have seen them. And that would make sense, other than the fact that if we look at this one, the over by the timestamp, it says photo 2, meaning that someone passed by before uh, quote-unquote Powers did. Objection. Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir Sonny! So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here, I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security camera data. Ooh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 o'clock p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number 2. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. The evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Eh? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes. That's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem. <clears throat> I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Uh, um, edgy boy, help! Huh? B believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Oomph, some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? 
Ah, that's right. I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. The other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, honey. I've only just remembered it. Right. Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Yeah, everyone's just done with Miss Old Bag at this point. Every day after I finish my guard- okay, I already voiced that. Another job? That's right, I check all the people that pass by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of those photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes, but those computers are just so frustrating. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. How exactly do you to de determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you could tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Humph, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about, one was there that day. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids! So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by on the gate... by the gate on their way to the studios that day? One was the Steel Samurai, dragging his leg. The other was a boy who... Look to be about second or third grade. Oh yes, well we see his type in there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear? Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick? What's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're all—they're all already trying to unsuspect him. I'd like to take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. October 18th, 11.08 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. W.P.? Y yes Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? Didn't go to the studio? I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? Uh, how should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? Doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we gonna do? 
First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could, could, could have conceivably done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic, optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let's hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed this murder? Well, obviously it can't be the grade school boy or the assistant girl, so the only person we have left to accuse is... It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Wendy Oldbag. What? Whippersnapper! Order, order. Is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was well, by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would you go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would, would take her picture. If she was in the costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes number two, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump in with an objection or some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so y'all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way? Rule number one of Ace Attorney. Always press further. Also, I like this give granny a break. <laughs> the very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case cannot, can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, 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 why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased. He is only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man at 10 second stops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Always, oh, it'd be nice to kids and meet your elders day. Whippersnapper! I have proof. P proof Indeed. And let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows that the boy could not have committed this murder? Your Honor, the murder weapon was the Samurai Spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible! I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? 
<laughs> the windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for this day. Mr. Redworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her aim? Something old bag, Your Honor. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Oh, wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run up, run off barking up the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking! Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. M Miss Oldbag, what's all this about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told him not to talk? Well, testify. My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been on the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do it when I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Oh, God, she sure is a handful. <laughs> Wanted me to keep quiet about something. So you were told not to talk. That's right, by the studio and TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. There were some other people at the studios on that day of the murder. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. Go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Yeah, we'll go ahead and take a break here, because... The rest of the text doesn't really get us anywhere. Your Honor, we have learned that there were other others at the Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Hmm. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings and the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. October 18th, 1.04 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Ah, really, it's nothing. Mm. Oh, or should I? <sniffs> we'll, be do we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and the producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been the, the old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? Uh, I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. 
Yeah, I know. I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I kind of feel sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys.